Army Sports Hall of Fame inductee from the class of 1981, Michael Kenneth Fonestock, football, track and field. Mike Fonestock collected 10 varsity letters during his career as a football and track and field standout and won the prestigious Army Athletic Association award his senior year. On the gridiron, the wide receiver finished his career ranked second all-time with 97 receptions and 1,726 yards and currently stands in fourth place in both categories. He hauled in 13 touchdown passes over his career and set the single season record with seven scoring grabs in 1980, a record that still stands. Fonestock became the first player with five 100-yard receiving games in a season and set the single game reception yardage record with 186 yards opposite Lehigh. As a member of the track and field team, he set the record in the 110 hurdles in the Army-Navy meet, a mark that stood for 15 years. From the class of 1981, Michael Kenneth Fonestock, football, track and field. Army Sports Hall of Fame inductee from the class of 1954, Clarence William Hannon, basketball. During his three seasons on the court, Bill Hannon posted 1,101 rebounds and scored 1,155 points, the first Black Knight to surpass the 1,000 mark in both categories. He graduated as the school's scoring and rebounding leader and currently stands second in rebounds and 21st in points. A two-time team captain, Hannon played in 58 career games and led the team in scoring in all three of his seasons. He scored a career-high 44 points in a 101-46 victory over National University of Mexico in 1954. As a three-time Converse Yearbook Honorable Mention All-America selection, Hannon averaged 19 rebounds per game over his career, while he also led the nation with 20.9 rebounds per game as a sophomore, a mark that still stands as an Academy single-season record. From the class of 1954, Clarence William Hannon, basketball. Army Sports Hall of Fame inductee from the class of 1949, James Vincent Hardinger, lacrosse. Hardinger was a three-time first-team All-American as a midfielder on the lacrosse team. A National Lacrosse Hall of Fame inductee in 1975, he scored four goals and handed out four assists in the 1947 North-South All-Star Game. A three-time letter winner, Hardinger was the team co-captain during the 1949 season and was chosen as the team's most valuable player. Following his lacrosse career, Hardinger rose to the rank of general in the U.S. Air Force, becoming the first member of the Air Force to rise from the rank of private to four-star general. He served as commander-in-chief of both the North American Aerospace Defense Command and Air Force Space Command prior to his retirement in 1984. From the class of 1949, James Vincent Hardinger, lacrosse. Army Sports Hall of Fame inductee from the class of 1992, Kim 2T Kawamoto, basketball administrator. Kim Kawamoto won the prestigious Army Athletic Association Award following a stellar women's basketball career. A two-time American Women's Sports Federation All-America selection, she still holds career records for assists with 796 and steals with 287. She established single game and Army-Navy game records with 16 assists during the 1991-92 season, posted a single game record 10 steals against Hofstra, and set a Crystal Arena record with 14 assists against Fordham. A four-year letter winner, Kawamoto was named to the 1991 Patriot League All-Tournament Team and was an All-Empire State Conference selection in 1989-90. Kawamoto later returned to West Point and served in the role of Senior Woman Administrator. From the class of 1992, Kim 2T Kawamoto, Basketball Administrator.
Army Sports Hall of Fame inductee from the class of 1944, Francis Ellis Merritt, football. Frank Merritt was a two-time first-team All-America selection as an offensive tackle for the Black Knights on the gridiron. He earned a pair of varsity letters, helping the 1942 team to a 6-3 mark and the 1943 squad to a 7-2-1 record under Hall of Fame coach Earl Red Blake. The 1942 squad opened the season with four straight wins, while the 43 team began the year with five straight victories. Merritt served as director of intercollegiate athletics at the Air Force Academy from 1967 to 76 and was chosen to the National Association of Collegiate Directors of Athletics Hall of Fame in 1980. Merritt was inducted into the National Football Foundation and College Hall of Fame in 1996. From the class of 1944, Francis Ellis Merritt, football. Army Sports Hall of Fame inductee from the class of 1944, Kazimir John Myslinski, football. Kazimir Myslinski was a first team All-America choice at center for the Black Knights and earned the Newt Rockne Award as the nation's outstanding lineman during his senior campaign. He was voted the team's most valuable player and served as co-captain during his senior season. He was a two-year letter winner and was part of 13 wins during his two campaigns on the gridiron. Myslinski entered the U.S. Air Force in 1944 and returned to West Point in 1952 as Deputy Director of the Department of Physical Education. He returned to Air Force in 1956 as the head of the Department of Physical Education and also served as an assistant football coach. He was named Director of Athletics at the University of Pittsburgh, where he served 14 highly successful years. From the class of 1944, Kazimir John Myslinski football. Army Sports Hall of Fame inductee from the class of 1968, Michael Francis Pallone, hockey, soccer. Mike Pallone earned the coveted Army Athletic Association Award following a standout career in hockey and soccer. Pallone earned three varsity letters on the West Point ice, registering 38 career goals and 85 assists. He ranked fifth on Army's career scoring list with 123 points at the time of his graduation. He also stood third in career assists. Pallone was part of 46 victories, led the team in scoring during the 1965-66 season with 58 points, and was honored with the Bukema Award as the team's most valuable player. As a forward on the pitch, he was a second-team All-America choice by the National Soccer Coaches Association of America after earning regional All-America accolades. Pallone helped Army to NCAA bids in all three of his varsity seasons. Additionally, his father, legendary men's soccer and baseball coach Joe Pallone, was a 2004 Army Sports Hall of Fame inductee, and they are the first father-son pair to both earn induction. From the class of 1968, Michael Francis Pallone, hockey, soccer. Army Sports Hall of Fame inductee, John Edward Ryan, head coach, swimming and diving. Jack Ryan served as longtime swimming and diving coach of both the men's and women's team and concluded his career with an overall record of 312, 153, and 1. He guided the men's program for 29 years and posted a 262, 126, and 1 record, while he guided the women's program from 1983 to 88 and showed a 50 and 27 ledger. Ryan's 1965-66 men's squad was a perfect 13-0 and won the Eastern Intercollegiate Swimming League Championship. Ryan was chosen for a host of Coach of the Year honors, including the Metro Atlantic Athletic Conference on both the men's and women's side. He mentored 28 All-Americans during his tenure, including two NCAA national champions. Additionally, he was a member of the U.S. Olympic Committee, chairman of the NCAA Swimming and Diving Committee, and president of the College Swimming Coaches Association. From Swimming and Diving, head coach, John Edward Ryan.
Army Sports Hall of Fame inductee from the class of 1959, Donaldson Preston Tiller Jr. Lacrosse football. Don Tiller was a two-time first-team lacrosse All-America choice as a defenseman and was part of two national championships in 1958 and 59. A Schmeisser Award winner as the nation's top defenseman, he played a pivotal role during Army's 1958 undefeated season. Tiller anchored a defense that allowed just 4.3 goals per game that year and only 6.8 the next season. He was team captain for the North team in the North-South Senior All-Star Game. Tiller later served as an officer representative and assistant coach for seven seasons under Hall of Fame coaches James Ace Adams, Dick Adele, and Jack Emmer, and was on the staff during the 1969 National Championship season. As an offensive guard on the football team, he earned a varsity letter on the 1958 squad that posted an 8-0-1 record. From the class of 1959, Donaldson Preston Tiller Jr. Lacrosse Football.